Hello and welcome to this uh, new series of videos that I've put together uh, about SCAL or Shortcuts A Lot. Shortcuts A Lot is an easy to use design software program that will help you create cutting files for your electronic machines. Now Shortcuts A Lot is a third party program so it's not affiliated or, or connected to any specific machine which means that no matter what machine you have out there you should be able to get use out of it. Even the Brother Scanner Cut, the Cricut and the Silhouette machines will be compatible in some way with this software package. Now within there there are a vast array of tools, uh, design features and lots of other uh, things that can really really enhance our cutting file designing. So what I've done is I've broken this down into a series of uh, seven videos. The first video will be just an overview of the workspace to get you familiar with uh, where everything is and what everything does. In part three, we're going to take a look in closer at the menus and see where all of the different functions and advanced features are. In part four, we'll be looking at some of the tools and some of the really neat and exciting tools that are contained within the software package. In part five, we'll be looking at the library, lots of pre-installed design shapes that we can start working with straight away. We don't necessarily have to be inspired or design-led in order to use this software. We can dig through the library and choose things that we want to cut straight away. In part six, we'll be looking at the properties panel and how to get the most out of that when you're designing or when your design space is, is quite crowded. Uh, clip seven, we'll be looking at the virtual mat and how to operate all of the different things that we put on our virtual mats and what happens with all the different control tools. And in the final part, clip eight, we'll be looking at importing, tracing and exporting. So things like converting SVG files to FCM and also tracing our JPEG or our PNG images to create cutting files. So as you can see, there's lots to get through. So without further ado, I think I'll move on to part two, the workspace overview right now.